do, how is that set up? Are you, are you like an author guy or are you like a, a college lecture guy? I'm a, well, these are these are lectures by it's by a, a certain guy and I don't know his name, but he's a he's a lect he's a like a um, a professor okay. at a at a you know at some college, but he's 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 giving these lectures uh, about various parts of psychology about you know how it started and whether it's Freud or it's uh, uh, the guy that you know you're going from um, Skinner. To, yeah, Skinner. from yeah. Skinner to or Pavlov to Skinner or, or to no, or Maslow, it's Pavlov yeah. uh, to Watson to Skinner as far as the behavioral behaviorism and so the, I was really interested in that because everything is about human behavior yeah so you know when I I don't really put myself as a motivational speaker I'm a human behavior expert because that's what I talk about it's really about changing your behavior to change your results that's what it's all about so I talk about human behavior I heard you I say something very powerful about <clears throat> you know acting as if Right. And I'm a big fan of Nietzsche. The visionary lies to himself. The yep. liar lies to everyone else. And I heard you say a great deal of that. It's like when you walk in the room, like in a sense, know your worth. Act as if you already have that check. You talked about Jim Carrey. Right. Writing himself $10 <clears throat> million. Dollars. Right. Was that your study in these fields of psychology that helped you kind of grapple with that and put that together in something to teach people? You know, I think it right? does. It, it goes does. Over people's heads it, it does. And so. Again, as a, a guy looking for mentors, okay. we didn't have YouTube, we had audio. So I would, you know, back in the day, I'd listen to Tony Robbins audios. But of course, when I worked with him, I didn't listen to him because I was exposed to him. So I would listen to other people, yeah. Dennis Waitley, Ogmandino. And one of the guys, literally, that I love the most is a guy named Marshall Silver. And, oh, and so he's a Vegas guy. He's a, he's a Vegas guy, yeah, but he's he, crazy. He's like, <laughs> saw on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, Facebook. yeah. So Mark, and he, he talk, you know, I like the way he talks, but he, he talks in a more direct fashion. That's, and so I would listen to his stuff and I would take his stuff, obviously, take it from what I learned from Tony and, and I would create my own stuff. But a lot of what I talk about now is just from all the people that I spoke with, but he is the one, I mean, you know, Tony's a big guy about belief system yeah. and uh, Marshall was talking about it in a different way. And I don't know specifically where I got it because I didn't really learn that until like halfway through my time with Tony Robbins and then I started implementing that strategy because I was doing stuff for him all over the world and I was saying yes to things that I maybe shouldn't have but I would walk in and act as if I was that guy. You were get you were comfortable being uncomfortable. Well, that's you know, again, back to college basketball. Mm -hmm. Every day is a game day. It's it's you don't know what's going to happen. You got to go play. You win and you lose, you know, you play good, you don't play good, but the next day is the next day. So 